Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, you are going to master the two most important verbs in English. Transitive and intransitive. Out of the six essential main verbs, I have already discussed the rest four verbs. You can check out after the end of this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to focus on what are transitive and intransitive verbs. How can we identify these easily in sentences? And of course, quiz section. I have made some questions for all of you. Let's see how many of those you can answer correctly. But now, let's begin with the definition of a transitive verb. A verb which requires an object after it to complete its sense is called a transitive verb. Remember, the object may be noun, pronoun or a noun phrase that follows the verb. Look at some examples to understand the transitive verb even better. He studied the book thoroughly. Here, studied is a verb. The book is an object, a direct object. Remember, you can easily figure out a direct object by simply asking a question, what or whom. In this example, you can ask, he studied what? The answer is, the book. As we learned earlier, that the transitive verb requires an object after it to make a complete sense. Hence, studied is a transitive verb here. If you want to learn each and every detail about an object, then this video is for you. For any other particular grammar lesson, just click on video section and practice any lesson that you want. Now, let's get back to the lesson with some more examples. The dog bite the watchman. Here, the dog is the subject and bite is a transitive verb. Because when you ask a question, the dog bite whom? You will get the answer, the watchman. And it is the direct object of the verb bite. Keep in mind, when we say the dog bite, someone will definitely ask you the dog bite whom or what. Without the direct object, it doesn't make any sense. So the transitive verb requires an object to make sense. In the same way, you can easily find out the transitive verbs from these examples. Simon plays football. Huntsman chased the deer silently. They built a shelter. He moved the table. I tasted the tea. Now you can easily say the verbs play, chase, built, move and test are transitive verbs and each verb has an object. Football, the deer, a shelter, the table and the tea. You can note down the structure. Subject plus transitive verb plus object. One more thing to remember that a transitive verb can also have an indirect object that precedes the direct object. Means, a transitive verb can take more than one object. You can find out the indirect object by simply asking to whom or for whom. See some examples. Vivek gave his brother a tripod. Here, Vivek is a subject, give is a verb and when you ask a question, Vivek gave what? A tripod. It is the direct object you know that. 
Now, ask a question. Vivek gave a tripod to whom? His brother, the indirect object. So here, the transitive verb gave took both the direct and indirect object. Now I hope you have fully understood the transitive verb. Now let's move on to the next type of verb, intransitive verb. It is the opposite to the transitive verb. It doesn't require an object to make sense. Means there is no object that receives the action. Intransitive verbs have meaning on their own. Let's look at some examples. He laughs at her jokes. The sun shines brightly. Here, the verbs laugh and sign do not require objects to complete their meaning. When we ask here what or whom, like in the case of transitive verbs, we don't get any answer because there are no objects here. So these are called intransitive verbs. Let me show you some more examples. Her husband spoke loudly. The clouds move across the sky. They talked for hours. Now you can easily say the verbs speak, move and talk are called intransitive verbs because in these sentences no object receives an action. They do not require an object to complete the meaning. Ok now let's test your skills and find out if you can answer these questions by identifying the verbs and its types. Transitive or intransitive. The old man took shelter under a tree. Here, tech is a transitive verb because it has an object to make sense. Next one. He sits quietly in the hospital. Sit is an intransitive verb because here there is no object receives an action. Third one. We sat on the bench. The intransitive verb sit do not require an object to make sense. It makes sense on its own. Fourth one. South Africa won the match. Here, simply ask a question, South Africa won what? The match. So here, the verb is transitive. And the last one, the children played happily in the sand. Here, there is no object to receive an action of the verb play. So here it is an intransitive verb. So that's all for today. I hope you guys learned a lot from today's lesson. Thank you so much for being with me till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of my latest videos. And also Make sure to share this video with those who need it the most. Do take care. Stay safe.